Geometry Nodes is one of the coolest features of Blender, which allows you to create anything and control it instantly in real time. So in this video you will learn what Geometry Nodes is, how it works, how to use it and how to learn it. So sit back and relax, it's going to be interesting. But first, I want to answer one question. I am often asked how and where I learn 3D graphics. And my answer is always the same. The best way for me to learn is through courses. That's why I want to recommend an online school called WingFox, where I personally take courses. For example, I currently starting to learn Unreal Engine, so you can join me in the course on creating a post-apocalyptic environment in Unreal Engine 5. The course is designed for beginners and covers all stages of creating cinematics from preparation to uploading videos on social media. So if you are interested, you will find links to this course as well as other courses that I can vouch for in the video description. And now let's continue our video. Geometry nodes were first introduced in version 2.92 and underwent significant changes that are still relevant in version 3.0. At that time most of existing nodes were rewritten and many new ones were added. Initially, like many others, I didn't immediately understand what to do with them. Currently, in version 3.6, the system hasn't undergone significant changes, but has gained many new useful features like hair system. Geometry node system is used for procedural generation or modification of object geometry using node-based operations, also known as graphical programming. Essentially, with the help of geometry nodes, you can create anything, various animations, object modeling, generating entire environments, and much more. This is especially useful in motion graphics as change can be made instantaneously. However, it's also an extremely tool for environment creation. For example, you can generate landscapes of your locations just using nodes. Or my favorite, creating entire cities with buildings that have different structures without any modeling. The working principle of Blender's geometry nodes is comparable to the industry standard of procedural generation, Houdini. Procedural generation means that you can create your own fully customizable operations that will automatically work on any object. As I mentioned earlier, this is very useful when creating complex scenes. Essentially, geometry nodes are modifiers with their own settings and parameters, which can be conveniently shared with others or used in different scenes simply by modifying certain settings and obtaining a different result. Geometry nodes are located in modifier panel. You can simply add geometry nodes modifier just like any other modifier, and within it select the node group you created to define desired result. Like other modifiers, it takes geometry from previous modifiers or the base geometry and makes change on top of other modifiers or base geometry. Once you have chosen which node tree you want to use, you can access customizable parameters that determine the modifier settings just like in classic modifiers. However, to have full control over the modifier, you need to switch to the geometry nodes editor. Here you can use connections to transfer and modify the geometry data of your objects, separating or combining them until reaching the final point. Thus you have complete freedom in editing geometry and the only limits are your imagination and existing nodes, of which there are currently 15 main groups. Each of these groups contains one or several nodes. All these groups are divided based on their usage. For example, mesh group nodes are responsible for operations related to mesh editing. In the geometry node system you can interact with different types of geometry. For example, you can draw a car and designate it as input information, then create mesh from it and further derive points and volumes from those points. This way you can create cartoonish clouds using simply cars and a few geometry nodes by manually inputting basic data that can be created and edited quickly. You can accomplish the rest using geometry nodes. This is so useful when you need to add random objects to your procedural scenes. Thus, you can rapidly generate a large number of random variations simply by changing the seed of the modifier. This is great for generating objects that have a similar structure and don't need to be created manually. Geometry nodes are also useful for generating different abstract forms, whether for concepts 
or in the process of 3D design. With the help of geometry nodes, you can create systems for distributing objects on surface, advanced array modifiers and much more. So if you have watched it to this minute, you probably have some questions about how to learn all of this, how to connect everything together and avoid breaking your computer. In reality, you have two options. The first is to go through various tutorials and courses on this topic. Fortunately, there are plenty of resources available on this subject. For example, official Blender tutorials or users created tutorials on YouTube. The second hardcore mode option is to delve into the official Blender documentation related to this topic. While it may be a bit dull and potentially useless without basic knowledge. Once you can grasp the principles of the geometry node system, this method of exploration will undoubtedly help you. However, if you find the topic of geometry nodes interesting and I see a lot of activity on this video, I will create some tutorials. So let me know in the comments if you are interested. And that's all I wanted to talk about geometry nodes in this video. Wish you all the best and see you!